Welcome to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster with John Kramer. Is there anything else that you would like to ask about that, about what, what I just sh- uh, shared, or how does it resonate with you? Well, like when you wake up in a mood and you find yourself in the middle of it and you think, oh my God. There's that, you know, there's also, you know, there's so many sort of like variations of that. You know, there's the whole feeling of, well, this is all uh, make believe. It's an illusion. There's also the feeling of, oh, me, oh, my, I'm suffering. And, and you know, is there a difference between illusion and suffering? Well, an illusion that is an insight that that it is not real, but still it it shapes the experience of your life. And that right. is um, uh, what we're dealing with here. Like that, that, that is uh, the power of the illusion. Um, so there's an awareness that it is kind of not real, but still it has an impact on the experience that you have both of yourself and life. And, and, and your outlook on life. So, um, and then you said the suffering. It seems a, a different character. I mean, I would think that how I experience illusion and how I experience suffering are certainly a different degree, if not a completely different sort of character. Hmm. So, what I found out, or like in my experience, right. the suffering is usually <clears throat> the mind uh, uh, bring up thoughts, or there is the arising of thoughts that that say something about me as a person. Like they, they, they seem to to speak to the idea of who I am that then I identify with. So, so I'm speaking about diminishing thoughts, thoughts that are criticizing, thoughts that, that um, but if you look at it, they, they are thoughts that speak to you, to a you that you tend to identify with. And that is where, where, where the suffering occurs. That is to say, that is a part of consciousness that very little people speak about because it's so difficult to bring to language. But it is, that is where is the silent suffering that people go through when they are uh, caught up in a mind and they have identified themselves with the thinking. So the silent suffering is identifying with the you that is spoken in the thinking. And so that is where the mind really has a hold on, 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 on you, so to speak, because that 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 is that is the part of that we rather don't want to be with when that happens. And interesting enough, the more attention you give to that, the more it grows. So that part of of consciousness i call that the weed the weed of consciousness the more you you give that attention these what some people call a negative uh, self talk but it is actually it that is a description but what actually happens is that the thinking throws out stuff and usually with the character of an outrage 
So it speaks to you that then you identify with. So you take it on, so to speak. Right. And that is what gives a sense of feeling miserable, feeling deflated, or and and the tendency, of course, is is to shy away from that or to resist it. And but the outcome of that is that it only becomes bigger. And then at some point, so that's why I call that the weed of the consciousness, because it takes over your life. And what is beautiful is starting to look ugly or, or is made ugly by that dynamic. So the question is how to get out of it, how to step out of that. Is that what you're talking about when you talk about suffering? Yes. But, you know, part of it, what the question was basically that there seems to be a difference between suffering and illusion, although they're both sort of part of the same phenomenon. I mean, both suffering and illusion is a result of you buying into something, you buying into the thoughts, the ownership of the problem or the ownership of the illusion, I guess. To respond to your question, illusion is that is an insight of the nature of what is happening and suffering is an experience. So, so they're not, they're not in the same ball game. So suffering is an experience. Um, but what is suffering is not you. What is suffering is an, is, that is an imaginary you. It, it is not your true self. And, but you have the experience of that because you identify yourself with something that is just thrown into your consciousness and by lack of understanding of the true dynamic of what is happening, you take it on and you take it seriously. You 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 um, uh, you identify yourself with it, which is not necessary because you are not that, and never have been. And all suffering that you say that you had never was, in truth. So in a way, and. It's all self-inflicted. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster. For more information, check out louiscoster.com forward slash Talking Diaries and subscribe to the Talking Diaries YouTube channel. Also check out louiscoster.com forward slash quiz and take the free quiz to discover more about yourself.